Hello, this is Tyler Disney in Oakwood Group, Oakland, and in this video I'm going to be showing the first method for getting a new piece of equipment into your project and getting it scheduled. So what I want to do is I want to get a cooling tower, a generic cooling tower, into my project. So I've already pulled up my pre-made schedule, cooling tower schedule, as you can see it's got all of the headers in it, but it's empty. That's because I don't have a cooling tower in my project yet. Over here in the project browser, uh, under mechanical equipment, I don't have my cooling tower in yet. So, quickest way to get content into Revit is to drag and drop. So here's my family library on the server. Here's the magic cooling tower. Drag and drop. And I'm going to place it. I'm just going to make it a little bigger really quick. Okay, there's my cooling tower. Except you'll notice that the schedule hasn't filled itself out with the cooling tower. That's because the schedule is filtering for mechanical equipment with type mark equals cooling tower. So I click on my cooling tower, I edit type, and I type in CT for cooling tower. Now the schedule is going to pick it up. And I can fill out everything I need. All the parameters are good to go. Notice that all the parameters start basically at zero. Um, and in the case of temperature, they start at absolute zero. So don't leave these zeros in there if you're going to ship a deliverable. Make sure to change all of these to something that's at least somewhat reasonable. That's all there is to it. Hi, this is Tyler Disney, Indoco Group, Oakland. In this video, I'm going to show how to schedule a family that comes from a vendor. In other words, a family that isn't preloaded with all of the parameters that your schedule is looking for. This workflow would also work if you were creating a new family, a new geometry, that didn't have the parameters that you want. Or if the family that you're working with is missing a few of the parameters that you think you need for your schedule. So first step is to go find your, uh, the family you want, say, from the internet. So here I've downloaded a Marley Cooling Tower family. Now I could technically drag and drop this into my family, but that is not best practice with vendor families. The reason for that is that vendors will often release a text file that allows Revit to read different family types of the main family and allows you to pick and choose which models you want to load in. For example, Greenheck often has one Revit family for a whole broad genre of fans and then they also release a text file along with it. So when you load it in it pops up with a little window that says which models do you want? Do you want the SBS24 blah 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 and then you pick all the ones that you want um, and then load them in. Um, however if you drag and drop Revit's not going to notice that text file and it'll just do something random and screw you over. So the best practice with vendor families is to load in the family from your project. So I'm going to go to my project. I'm going to type in ME for mechanical equipment. I'm going to click load family. And then I'm going to go find that family. And so if there was a text file, it would be right here. And it has to be next to the family. Um, and Revit would see it. This one doesn't have a text family, so you're not going to get to see that. Um, but best practice, load it from Revit. So there it is. I click it to place it, and once again, it doesn't show up in the schedule because the schedule is looking for mechanical equipment with type mark of CT. So I select it, I hit edit type, go find type mark, type in CT. And there it is. Now, uh, manufacturer and model showed up because these two are actually um, parameters that all mechanical equipment category fa families have, but none of the other fields, parameters, are in there, so I can't edit them, I can't do anything with it. It's frustrating and it's useless. 
So what I have to do is I have to load the shared parameters that this schedule is looking for into my family. To do that, I need to go into the family editor. So with the family selected, click edit family. And then I click add-ins, parameter jerk, which you can get for free online. And then over here in sets, I find my cooling tower set, which I've pre-made. And I look through all the parameters. Those look good. I click what I want. I'm going to check overwrite existing parameters of the same name. And then I'm going to click do it. Should only take a few seconds, even though this is quite a few parameters. Great, 40 successful, zero failed. If any do fail, you can check out the log, and it'll give you um, a little description of what happened. At any rate, that's it. My family should now have all the shared parameters in it, so all you need to do is load it back into the project. There is almost no reason to ever click this button, overwrite the existing version and its parameter values. Only click this button if you know exactly what you're doing and exactly what's going to happen. If you have any bit of doubt, always click this one. So go back to my schedule, and there are all my parameters. They are all editable. I'm good to go. Thanks. That's all there is to it. Cheers.